guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiki. Today's video is all about my hair care routine and how I set my curly slash wavy hair as well as how I get my beach waves that you guys are always sending me messages about on Instagram. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get those mermaid waves even if you don't have curly slash wavy hair like I do. I'm gonna be showing you guys on my daughter because she has straight hair and I do this for her and she gets to enjoy what she affectionately calls her mermaid waves. I'm going to be showing you guys the amazing clean vegan products that I love as well as sharing the tips that I have for getting your hair to grow thick, healthy, and strong and fast. There's just a few simple things that you can do at home to get the quality of your hair to improve as well as the rate at which it grows because I know a lot of you guys are looking for that length. Okay, so let's get into it. So my hair today, this is day three, and this is like just that beach wave look that you guys are always sending me messages about. And you can really achieve this look even if you don't have curly or wavy hair. Again, I will show you later in this video how I do it on my daughter. Now, if any of you guys have curly hair, you know like it can be such a blessing and such a curse at the same time. It can be really difficult to manage. And curly hair is really only good like that first day. Like once you sleep on it, it is all over. You wake up and you're like, time to start from the beginning. So you either have to like re-wet it, Re to reset it, it's an ordeal. And it took me a long time to come to a place of peace and harmony with my hair, but I feel like I finally got it figured out. So I'll be showing you guys how I set my curly hair, and then I'll be showing you how I'm able to go day after day without having to wash my hair or wet it all down to reset it. Um, later in this video. So the products I'm going to be showing you today are by Pacifica. They are my absolute favorite. I have used all their products for years, even before I went completely plant-based. The shampoo that I love is the Curl Defining Shampoo. It smells like I don't know, like a pineapple candy. It's really good. It doesn't aggravate my scalp. It's a really gentle shampoo. And curly hair it tends to be more coarse and brittle, so it's really important that you use products that are gonna be more gentle on them. So I use the Curl Defining Shampoo the most, but about once a week or every like third wash, I love to use this Rosemary Purify because I feel like it really cleanses my scalp and just purifies everything and gets it reset. I feel like my hair is super shiny after I use this. So I do like to use this one like every third wash. If you're wondering how often I wash my hair, I like to wash it about every third day unless I've been like sweating a lot in the summer. I actually tend to have to wash my hair more frequently because I'm outdoors all day and it's hot and it's sweaty and nobody likes a sweaty scalp. But in general, I like to do no more than every other day or every third day. So my biggest tip for getting your hair to be shiny and happy and healthy is going to be one, the products that you use should be natural and gentle on your hair and scalp. But the other thing that has made a huge difference in the health of my hair and just how my scalp feels in general is I stopped washing my hair in the shower. So I like to take a little bit of a hotter shower, but that is so bad on your scalp and for your hair. It completely dries it out and makes it more brittle and it affects the conditions of your scalp so your hair just won't grow as fast as it can potentially. So what I started doing is washing my hair in my kitchen sink. Now you can do this in the shower if you want, but I do it in the kitchen sink because what you want to be doing is washing your hair with cold water. It's like really invigorating to your scalp and that by far has been like the thing that has affected my hair growth the most. I've noticed that my hair grows so much faster when I am not washing it in a hot shower. So really the products you put on your scalp and your hair and washing your hair in cold water is going to be extremely important for the overall feel and look and growth of your hair. All right, so I'm gonna go wash my hair and show you guys how I do that. And I, of course, will be linking all of the products that I'm showing you today in the description box below, along with any discount codes that I have in case you find any other treasures that you wanna try on the Pacifica website.
washed and I only use these microfiber towels that you can find like at Target or Walmart, TJ Maxx and Ross. I got this one on Amazon. I will link some for you guys. These are gonna be way more gentle on your hair than a big bath towel. Those big bath towels can really pull and tear at your hair. And if you're trying to grow your hair out or maintain length, then it's gonna be a better idea to use a microfiber towel because it's gonna be a lot more gentle on your hair. All right, so all I'm gonna do now is brush my hair out. And I do like to brush my hair out before I wash it so that there's not as many knots and tangles to go through and it just makes this process a lot quicker and it doesn't tear your hair as much because your hair is most vulnerable when it's wet so you want to be gentle when you're doing this Okay, so now my hair is all brushed out and you can see like it's really long it's like down here to the, actually it's like level with my belly button. So it's amazing how much length you lose when it dries, especially with curly slash wavy hair. Okay, so I used to use a lot of mousse and gels, but I always felt like my hair felt really coated and I didn't like it feeling like crunchy, but mostly I hated the coating, the coated feeling and I wanted to be able to have my hair like soft and light for a couple days. So I started using Pacifica's Pineapple Swirl Curl Cream and I love this stuff. It goes on really light. Your hair doesn't feel weighted down or coated and a little goes a long way, which is another thing I love because they're affordable products and then they last forever. So I literally, that's like all I put in all of my hair and you guys can see how much hair I have and how long it is. So now I'm just gonna work from my ears down and just make sure I'm getting it all the way down to the ends. And then I just take the, the little bit I have left on my hands and then smooth out the top. But you don't wanna put much at the top because you don't want anything to add to you getting oily, especially if you want to not have to wash your hair for a couple days. So I just brush that through. And then the last product I use is Pacifica's High Ends Hair and Body Oil. This really helps with the frizz for me. And again, a very little goes a long way. That is all I need. And this I will also only do from the ears down. From my ears down, not the ears down. Because you don't want any oil to build up up here. Brush that through. And I just use this flat paddle brush that I picked up at Ulta. A wide tooth comb is great as well. Okay, so now I'm just gonna let my hair air dry. I don't scrunch my hair up because I don't like to lose length. I get wavy hair up top and then really curly underneath and I'm already going to lose, like my hair's down to here, it's probably going to come up to here. I lose about six inches anyway when it dries, so I don't personally scrunch my hair. But if you like to scrunch to get more curl definition, go for it. I like more like of a messy, loose beach look. Alright, so I will check back with you guys when this is dry and I will show you how I style it. Alright, so my hair is completely dry now and as you can see, it gets really curly underneath without me scrunching or adding to it and so I do lose a lot of length. But yeah, you guys can see like that's my natural curl under there and then it's just more wavy on top. So depending on how my hair dries will determine whether or not I feel like I need to use the curling iron here for these few pieces in the front. Those of you that have curly hair understand that you just never know how your hair is going to dry. I don't personally enjoy like having really crimpy hair right here. So I usually do just take these first few pieces and use my one inch barrel and then just kind of straighten that top out and then wind the bottom around and then brush it out and see it gives like a nice loose wave and just helps you frame your face out and it looks really pretty. And I'm totally happy just, you know, curling the few front pieces and then I'm not damaging like all of my hair and I'm not hurting my scalp by blow drying and putting heat on it. And I will say that now that I don't really ever blow dry my hair, put that heat on my scalp, my hair, I swear guys, is growing so much faster. So I think like if you're really looking for healthier hair that grows fast, you want to get that length, then really stop using heat on it, use gentle products, and wash your hair in cold water. All right, so 
I'll do some on this side. And for these first pieces, I do kind of straighten out the top because I just don't like it real curly right at the top there. And I'll take the second piece. And I just brush them out. And see, that just like gives a more polished look. So yeah, super, super easy. So I will go like this all day. I also love to take these little clips. You can get them in any store. You can get them at the grocery store. And sometimes I'll just pull this front section up and do like this little top like that. I love that. My daughter will wear her hair like this too. So it's cute. We'll have like mommy daughter hair. And there you have it. So then I'm going to show you guys how to deal with this when it's time to go to bed. I never like wearing my hair curly because the first day was fine like this, but then you'd sleep on it and then the next day you had to just like start all over and I didn't want to deal with washing my hair, re-wetting it and putting more product in and having to style it or use heat tools on it. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do. It's super simple, no heat tools necessary. And this also works if you have straight hair. I'll be showing you guys on my daughter. Okay, so bedtime routine. This is super, super simple. Um, it's again, a great way to get that wave in your hair, even if you have straight hair without heat and a whole lot of fuss. Okay, so what I'm basically gonna do is I'm just gonna braid my hair. So I'm gonna part it down the middle and I do this every night because I am not gonna be dealing with curly hair that needs to be reset the next day. So I do have like this wide tooth comb that I use. So I'm just gonna get the tangles out of there. Sometimes I'll use my paddle brush, but my hair doesn't feel too tangly today. And I'm just gonna kind of tie that one off to the side so I can deal with braiding this side first. So I'm just gonna get all the tangled pieces combed out. You don't want there to be any tangles in there. You want to have it nice and combed out. So then I'm just going to take my oil and I'm going to put a very small amount, like teeny tiny, just a little bit. And I go from like my shoulders down. Now, if your hair isn't this long, just like go from your ears down because you don't want up here to get oily. You want that to last. But curly hair can tend to get frizzier over time and after you sleep. So, so now all I'm going to do is braid it. Now I start my braid back behind my ear. So, or just where my ear ends right here. That's where I'm going to start my braid because I don't want it up here because I don't like having crimpy hair up at the top. I prefer for it to be a little bit straighter. You guys know like that Kim K look. All right, so I've got my three strands and I'm going to get like the first part of the braid started. And now what I'm gonna do is it's not like a classic French braid. I'm not gonna keep picking up hair for each strand. I'm just gonna do it one time. So for this strand of hair, I'm just gonna run my thumb all the way to the top and pick up hair for that piece and then cross it over and then I'm gonna do the same for that next piece and then cross it over. And then that third piece is gonna get the rest of the hair. Now I do that so that it makes a loose wave and then I don't pull it very tight. I braid it loosely because I don't like to have a tight wave. I like to have a little bit looser wave. Now I will show you guys this on my daughter so it's a little bit easier for you to see because on my dark hair it's hard to see and on her blonde hair it'll be a little bit easier so see i'm not pulling it tight i'm keeping my braid pretty loose and then you just go down as far as you can you don't want to leave a big gap because then this will be straight it'll just look not as natural okay so to tie my ends you guys can see like how far i brought the braid down I am gonna use these satiny little scrunchies. I use scrunchies because they won't tear your hair like these guys will. I used to use these, but it was just like tearing my ends and my ends were constantly like tearing up and I was having to trim them all the time. And I'm actually, I've decided that I wanna grow my hair like another 
probably eight inches because I lose so much length with wearing it natural. So I am like taking every precaution <laughs> to make sure my ends stay as happy as possible for as long as possible because I hate losing length. All right, so there's one braid and I'm just gonna sleep in my braid. All right, so I'll do the other side. Take my oil again, just like the tiniest drop. And you can pick these little scrunchies up like at Target or Walmart or Ulta. I will try to find some on Amazon as well for you guys and link them. It is not fancy, but it will do for bedtime. So, you know, put your braids in after sexy time though, because unless you're a better braider than I am, because <laughs> I need help. All right, so in the morning, I will take these guys out and you guys will see what I'm left with. All right, so I am back for the next day reveal. So after I get ready in the morning, then I go ahead and take out my braids. I just love that I'm not using any heat to style my hair other than like the front pieces. And it's made a huge difference because I was always straightening my hair or like barrel curling my hair and I was always having to trim like two, three inches off of my ends every like, four to six months and so my hair was just like never getting longer so when I decided to stop doing that I think I've only like straightened my hair like twice in the last five months I really like just given in to this natural look and I have noticed a huge increase in my hair growth and the health of it and like washing it with cold water really makes a big difference all right so there you can see just like right out the gate how pretty and soft it looks and because I start the braids way back here like this just kind of straightens out and then I do have my curling iron and I may just kind of shape these pieces in the front just real quick there you go see that's like all you need I'm like that took no time that's it that's all it took to be like ready this morning and so you can see because I don't braid it tight the waves are a lot looser it helps me maintain more of my length and I'll show you guys see like I said I'm trying to grow it out like another eight inches I think you know, I want to channel like Brooke Shields in the Blue Lagoon. That's the vibe I'm going for, I think. Give that a try and see how it goes. Okay, so now I'm going to braid my daughter's hair. And as you can see, she has a pretty straight hair. And she likes it parted on the side, so that's how we're going to do it. So I'm just going to kind of get half the hair in the back off to one side and out of the way. And she likes her mermaid waves to be up closer to the top. So I'm going to start her braid here. Whereas I like to start my braids back here for myself. Okay, so you're going to get your three strands and cross them in front of each other like you're starting your braid. And then all you're going to do is pick up three sections. So one big section of hair for this side. And then you're going to cross it over and then pick up another section and cross it over and then pick up that last section so we're only picking up hair three times because that allows us to have a little bit fuller less tight wave And it doesn't have to be a perfect braid. As you can see, it's pretty messy, which is what we want. We want it to look irregular and that way it looks a little more natural. And again, especially with straight hair, you want to braid all the way down to the very end, as close as you can. Okay, so I use the soft scrunchies in her hair as well because we don't want her ends splitting unnecessarily. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a wet washcloth and just kind of dampen her braid. So I start the braid and then I'm just gonna take one whole section of hair and cross it. And then pick up the second section and cross it. And then we have the last section to pick up for this piece. Okay, and then again, I will 
dampen her braids. All right, and so then she will go to sleep with her braids in, and then tomorrow I will show you guys how it looks. Okay guys, so she has slept on this, obviously, so now I'm gonna take it out and show you how we style it up for her. All right, so I'm just gonna gently, like, just comb through it. You can see it gives her, like, this nice, loose, beachy wave. And then I just put a little oil on the ends to help the frizzies. As you saw, my routine is super simple. It's a great way to get some awesome volume and wave in your hair without having to use a lot of heat and not using a hair dryer and a curling iron on the rest of your hair or a flat iron will really help your hair stay healthy and strong and help you get that length that you're looking for because you're not having to cut all the dead ends off every few months. Again, if you're looking for a shiny, healthy hair that grows fast, it really comes down to using cleaner, more gentle products. I really recommend Pacifica. Wash your hair in cold water. Use a microfiber towel to help keep your hair from tearing and breaking. And diet. If you are putting junk into your body, your hair is really going to reflect that. So make sure you're putting wholesome food into your body. If you want to see more about how I eat, make sure you check out my How I Eat in a Day vlogs. I show you how I eat every day and this is how I was able to lose 66 pounds and keep it off. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram for more lifestyle inspo. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.